Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have another plan with me for you this week, and I will be planning the week of January 28th through February 3rd, and I'm going to be using this kit from Wild Summer Designs. It's called Winter Bliss. I picked this up on Small Business Saturday. It is a foiled kit, and it is a deluxe size kit. It was on an amazing sale. So I'm so excited I picked it up. I just know I'm not gonna be able to use all of it. So this was the freebie that came with it that matches. Then all of these beautiful foiled full boxes. Your ombre heart checklist, which I won't be using. Little things, headers, and then like a glitter strip. Some half boxes, checklist, and some labels. Quarter boxes, fancy labels, appointment labels, bill dues, and like eighth boxes. You got date covers, weekly tracker, some flags, your weekend banner, habit trackers, an extra full box, and another glitter strip. And then tons of icons and um, some more flags. Got your foiled bottom washi and washi strips. And then I am going to be pulling in some silver foiled glitter headers. So I'm gonna be using this like light pink color from Bodacious Prints, this dark green color from Bodacious Prints, and these full silver foil headers from Wild Summer Designs. So this kit is huge and I feel bad pulling in anything else, but it doesn't have headers. And the bottom washi is pretty, um, plain design. It's just the um, sweater pattern, which I love it, and it's foiled, and I hate cutting any off, but I am going to pull in some Simply Gilded. This is the 10 millimeter white with hollow bows, which I don't mind mi mixing hollow and silver. It doesn't really bother me, so I am going to pull some of that in as well. So I'm going to get started with the bottom washi. I will speed you through that. Like I said, I do feel horrible cutting this washi because it's foiled, but I may try and use um, some of the strips that I cut off. I am going to use my Tombow Mono Correction Tape to white out these top lines where I'm going to put this uh, Simply Gilded. I'll be using my slice tool from Amazon to cut off the excess washi, and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I've got my washi down. I love how that looks. I've got the white simply gilded and hollow and then the silver foiled bottom washi. I think that just breaks it up just a little bit and so I've got those two strips left that I might try to incorporate. So let me grab the date covers and these are really pretty like woodsy themed. So I'm going to put those down. They're pretty dark colored, so I don't think I will need um, to white out any. And then I do have some silver foiled date dots also from Wild Summer Design that I will be using. So I'll speed you through laying these down and I will be right back. So now for the sidebar, there aren't any true um quote boxes i do want to use a foiled box i'll i'll probably save this one for down here i know we'll see that's the only non-foiled box it's really pretty i love it but i've got quite a few foiled options hmm. these trees so then it's not the same trees that are already up there um, and I'm going to use, I'm going to block my glitter headers this week. So I'm going to put this full silver, um, headers all the way across the top. So I'm going to put that right there. Okay. That is pretty. I mean, anything I decided on is going to be pretty, but goodness, that was difficult. Okay, so let's grab the This Week header. It's pretty mauve color. She does have these glitter strips, which I thought about using. 
Maybe I'll do that. They just get to be really difficult to work with because they're so thin. But I think I'm going to try and use them. My slice tool. Okay. And then put this week. And then we grab the habit trackers. Here we go. And I'm going to put a glitter strip in between the habit trackers. glitter strip and then my dinner's header I was not very straight at all all right and then we'll do dinners I love this like sage color then I'll grab one of the weekly boxes let's do red red mauve to pink there we go and then down here at the bottom there is some cool some washi strips hmm. I think this one might fit. Let me stack these down here. Or I could stack this washi to continue it. I, I think I want something a little different. I'm gonna stack these. So that is my sidebar. And I am going to go through and put all of the solid sil silver headers across the very top. And then I'm going to do this pink color in the middle and then this dark green at the bottom. And then I'm going to scatter the boxes. So I'm going to go through and do all of the glitter headers and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm just giving you a little viv wiggle with the solid foiled glitter headers and the glitter headers from Bodacious Prints. I really love how all these colors complement the full boxes. I'm just speeding you through putting down the full boxes. I always put a lot of thought into where I put these, even if it's not necessarily needed. I really love how I um, place my full boxes and it's important to me and my spreads. So I'm going to speed you through that and then finish up the base of the spread. So that is the base of this week. So I have the first half of the week for you today. So I did um, update my habit trackers and I'll go through and update my dinners. But first thing on Monday, I um, had a pretty productive morning at work. So I wanted to use one of these laptop icons from the kit. These are super cute. They're a little big bigger than I'd like, but I'm just going to put it over the header a little bit and then just write work right there. And I did have a meeting this afternoon, so I wanted to use one of these quarter boxes. I think I'm going to use, um, I'm using this meeting script and I'm wondering if it'll fit on the labels. Let me grab my tweezers and see where it will fit. I want to do a label or a quarter box. Well, if I don't want these skinny labels, I think I'm going to do that. Put it right there. I really like this like 
sage color. So I'll put that right there for my kneading. This script is from Nightingale Paper Co. I love it, perfect. And then on the way home from my meeting, I um, chatted with one of my cousins, which was nice. Let me use one of these flags. Let's do the sweater. Put that right there and just write chat with Beth. There we go. And I think that'll be it up there. So when I got home, I filmed my B6 plan with me. So I'm going to use one of these camera icons from Piper Paper Company. And then the film script, also from Piper Paper Company. I love her film script. I mean, I love all of her scripts. <laughs> but I'm going to use her film script right there. Perfect. And let's see. I um, caught up on Grey's Anatomy. I love that show. It's always so good. And I had gotten behind. I didn't realize it had already come back on. So I'm going to use a TV little thing for that. Use this like light green color here. Right in Grey's Anatomy right there. All right. And then I cooked dinner. My husband and I, I'm going to use this Winston Chef right here for dinner. We had a really yummy dinner that night. I don't always mark cooking because, I mean, I always do it. But on nights it was really yummy or I don't have anything else to mark. <laughs> I do. So then that night, my husband and I watched some How I Met Your Mother, which we have been re-watching. I use the TV icon in the kit. It is the same color as the little thing I put above, which I don't love that. Let me see if this comes up easily. I think I'm gonna change this color. Just to have a little, yeah, I'm gonna do the light pink down here instead because I don't have any of that light pink. Yeah, let's do that right there. So that little thing will be from Grey's and for Grey's Anatomy, and then this will be for How I Met Your Mother with my husband. Perfect. Okay. And then on to Tuesday. Tuesday morning, I um, edited and uploaded my video, my B6 plan with me. So I'm going to use these scripts from Piper Paper Company, and then I'm going to use. The laptop icon here. I want to see if I can use both of these and do kind of edit and upload. If not, I'll just put upload. But let's see. I think I should be able to do that and do edit and then do an and and upload. Yeah. That's perfect. I'll be able to fit an and right there. Perfect. Alrighty. Then, I wanted to get a piece of washi. I um, did a YouTube binge, so I think I want to use... I don't think this like blanket is anywhere. So I'm going to use the skinny strip with the blanket on it of washi. And then I'm going to put this YouTube binge, I don't think that's straight. I've got a YouTube binge sticker from Piper Paper Company I'm going to use. And I think I'm gonna use the pink one, maybe, yeah, let's do pink. So I like putting these just right over a strip of washi like that, perfect. That's my little YouTube binge. And then I had a phone call with my aunt. So I was going to use the phone icon here in the kit for that. I think I might actually put this on this side. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then my husband and I took our pups on a walk. 
I use the paw print icon from the kit. And then I've got some Walk the Dog scripts from um, Nightingale Paper Co. They're pretty big, so I think I'm just going to put it kind of over, yeah, I'll do that like over the header there, perfect. And then we did some cleaning. So I was going to put a label here and just write clean in it. My dad's coming to visit Friday, so did some house cleaning to get ready for that. Then we watched a movie that night. So we use this movie marquee from the kit. We watched Venom, which is one of the Marvel movies that we had not seen yet. So I'm going to put that right there for Venom. The only other thing I was going to mark that night was um, we watched How I Met Your Mother, but I'm just going to skip that and move on. That's plenty for Tuesday. So on to Wednesday. I had to get some work done that morning, so I was going to use another one of these laptop stickers from the kit. I think these are so cute. And then I was going to use this work script from Piper Paper Company. Like I said, love her script. Let's see. Yeah, I'll layer it like that. Perfect. Then I had lunch with one of my really good friends from high school. We hadn't seen each other in a while. So I'm gonna use this pink bow box for that. We had a nice long lunch and it was so nice to catch up. Perfect, sorry, that is for lunch. Then I thought about using this lunch date sticker. Let me see how it looks over the box. I may just write in the box. Yeah, I think I'm just going to write in the box for that one because that box is so pretty already. I don't want to take away from it. Alrighty. So then on my way home, I talked to my dad. And let's see, I was going to use this heart icon, but I used the pink box. I don't want to use the pink heart. I don't think there's any other phones. Hmm. Maybe I can use a bow. Or I could use asterisk. Let's do that. Use the asterisk there. We're chatting with my dad. Then I got home. I had to work late. Not going to mark that. It was not fun. But then my husband got us some firewood. And we had a nice cozy night at home with a fire and watched a movie. So, let's see, let me use a half box for that, and then I also pulled this movie script from Piper Paper Company. I think I'm going to put that at the top of this box, and then write fire, and then we watched Body of Lies. We literally just looked for something on Netflix <laughs> to watch, so that was nice. And I thought about using the house icon. The only other thing I have is to mark that I read. So I, do, I think I'll use this house icon and I'll kind of just put it at the very bottom of the box so it kind of hangs out, hangs off some because I don't have anything to put directly under there and I want plenty of room to write fire in the movie. I might put it like that. I think that's cute. Yeah, I'll do that. Then I'm going to do another flag. There we go. I think I'll do these tree branch right there. And then I'm going to use this read script from Pretty on Paper Co.
perfect. I love how this is turning out. Um, that is the first half of the week. I'm going to go through and fill all of that out with pen, and I will have the second half of the week for you in just one minute. Okay, so moving on to the second half of the week. On Thursday, I started the day, well, <laughs> the whole day was working, but I'm going to start the day on here with this coffee cup to mark work. I had quite a to-do list to catch up on. So I'm gonna put that coffee cup right there for my work to-dos. And um, I had some uh, fun wedding chats with my little sister. She is um, planning her wedding for next year and I am her matron of honor. So we had some wedding chats, which was fun. Let's see, I'm gonna use this pink heart icon, so maybe I'll do this. Let's do the pattern box. She's just um, now getting started um, planning, and it's just so fun. I had such a good time planning my wedding. She was my maid of honor, so it's so fun to do with her. So I'm gonna put that little heart icon right there. Okay. And then that afternoon, we took our pups on a walk. I was gonna use one of these. Let's see. How about squared off quarter box? Right there. We're taking our dogs on the walk, and I'm gonna use this icon. It's like the person moving or running. So, right there. And then I did some filming. I pulled these Once More With Love filming munchkins. So I'm gonna put that right there for filming. Perfect. And then um, my husband and I cooked together, which was fun. I'm gonna use this fork and spoon icon for the kit from the kit for that. <laughs> there we go. And then um, I went to bed early this night and did some reading. So I pulled these book icons from Bodacious Prints. And I think, I think this color is the closest. Let me use this book right here. I love these, they're so cute. So I'm gonna put that right there for reading before bed. And then I also pulled this read script. It's from Nightingale Paper Co. Um, I ordered it as a custom script. Move it down just a little bit. I don't want that tail to cover up icon. Let me see if I can flip or just move this up a tad and then cover up part of the tail of the D. There we go, that's perfect, okay. All right, so that was Thursday. Moving on to Friday, I'm gonna use one of these bows from the kit just to mark um, catching up on work emails and getting some to-dos completed. Um, I knew I had an appointment that afternoon. Oh, I don't wanna do that, it's the same color. I had an appointment that afternoon, so I knew I wasn't going to be able to, so I'm gonna put that bow there for work emails. And then I did some cleaning around the house. And there's this little spray bottle I'm gonna use for that, for cleaning. And then I had a meeting that afternoon. I'm gonna use this mint quarter box for that right there and let me use the alarm clock icon for that and then that night my dad and his girlfriend came in town so excited about um, I mean I love seeing my dad anytime but I'm super excited because he's bringing me 
for bringing us our new headboard and footboard he made for us which is so exciting I just oh they're so pretty so I'm going to I think let's see I think what I want to do I want to use one of these arrows from Nightingale Paper Co I'm gonna write my dad in town right here and then I want to put an arrow underneath it to mark that he brought our headboard and footboard I think that would be really cute so I need one of these that are kind of tight squiggles. Yeah, perfect. And then I'll just mark right there what they brought. And then once, so they ended up driving back that night. So my husband and I just hung out at the house. We knew we wanted to go to bed early since we had our new headboard and footboard. But we did watch some TV first, um, caught up on Top Chef. So I'm going to use this TV little thing for Top Chef. And that was it on Friday. And then Saturday was so nice. We, um, not intentionally, but we slept in. So I pulled this leftover sheets from Pretty on Paper Co. She always has sleep-in scripts on her kits. So I pulled that. And I was going to use a flag and then that script to mark sleeping in that morning. Like I said, it was completely unintentional, but it was so nice. So I'll put that right there. Perfect. Okay. And then we had, a, um, or I actually did some filming before we had a basketball game. So I'm going to use this camera icon from the kit for that, for some filming. And then we went to a basketball game that afternoon, which we love going to basketball games. Unfortunately, this one did not end well, but it was still fun. So I'm going to put that right there for the basketball game. Perfect. And then we went and had lunch together. And I was going to use a little thing. I don't know if I like a little thing under that label or not, though. Let me just see. Yeah, it'll be okay. I'm going to do a little thing for us going to get lunch. And then we got home. We took our pups on another walk. So... Let's see. Did I already use? I think I already used the paw print and the kit. I did. Let me work up from the bottom and I may skip that. We'll see. So we went to dinner that night. We went and got wings and we both had a drink, which was nice. Um, on keto, there's only certain things that I can drink because I just don't really like like liquor, which is one of the main things you can have on keto. So I'm going to put a label right down here for dinner. And I was going to use the clinking glasses icon since we both had a drink right there. And then before that, I was going to use this Happy Mail icon. My B6 rings arrived, which was so exciting. So I um, filmed unboxing it. So I am going to have room for our walk. And I've got these munchkins that I want to use. Yes. This uh, dog lover sheet from Once More With Love. I'm going to use this little munchkin walking the dog right there. Perfect. Okay. So that was Saturday. And then on Sunday, I worked that morning. So I'm going to pull this green label for that. Put that right there. We were very busy. I felt like everyone was going out to eat since they knew they'd be home for the Super Bowl that night. So I picked us up some fast food on the way home. Keto fast food. I got us some salads. 
if I can get this icon up. There we go. Okay. And then I took the pups on a walk while my husband took a nap because he had to go back to work. So I'm going to use these paw prints from Nightingale Paper Co. for our walk. And then, let's see. I went to Publix um, to get all of our stuff for dinner. I was making us a yummy keto casserole for dinner, so I'm going to use the grocery run. This is the freebie that came with the kit. Let me use that grocery run script. I'm going to move this icon over. I'm not sure why I put it so far over. There we go. Right there for grocery run. Perfect. Okay. And then after that, I um, got into setting up my B6 rings. And it was so fun. I actually completed it. But I worked on it for a few hours. So I'm going to use this bow box for setting up my B6 rings. It was a lot of fun. And then that night, so we had recorded the Super Bowl because my husband was working. So that night when he got home, we watched it, which it was not a very exciting game, but that's okay. So I put this flag right here for the Super Bowl because, I mean, it is, it's notable, even if it's not a good game. And the team that I would have liked to win, I didn't have super strong feelings about it, but the team that I would have liked to win... Did not, so I actually fell asleep towards the end of it. All right, so that is my week. I'm going to go through and fill everything out. Alrighty, so I've got everything filled out. So this is my completed spread, and I just love how this turned out. Give you a little viv wiggle. Got lots of sparkle from the kit and then from my header. So if you'd like to see close up pictures, you can follow me on Instagram. I am at Georgia Girl Plans. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I do try to upload two videos per week. Comment below, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!